I would just like hang there in the water, you keep your eyes open. I'd make lists in my mind, but you'd have to be careful not to make like too many comprehensive, complicated mm -hmm. lists, because that also takes brain power. Like it's a, it's a whole like zen thing, actually. We were 30 feet underwater, so it was free diving. And then wait for Jim to call action. Did Kate come in at any time and just say like, hold my beer, y'all. Let me show y'all how to do She's this. She's an icon, this underwater she's a master. <laughs> when you're so at one with the water in the space, you know, you just don't want to be kind of going right. like this or appearing to be stressed because motion capture, you can see absolutely everything. Well, the vanity part of it is you beat Tom Cruise's record. I know, I know. <laughs> That's the good thing. I know, it's very funny people keep telling me that. Tom held his breath for over six minutes in Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. But Kate beat his record. She credits professional training, but you'd think it would have been due to another James Cameron project. Literally the only similarity between Titanic and Avatar is that, that there is some water in it. Titanic actually sells celebrates its 25th anniversary next week. And would you believe Leo almost didn't get the part? We were leaning toward Leo, but I hadn't seen him do anything right. yet. And he he didn't want to read. He says, oh, I don't read. You know, and I'm like, well, you little diva, 18 years old. I'm like, OK, really? See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Avatar The Way of Water in theaters Friday isn't just a reunion for James and Kate. Reunited and it feels so good? It does. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make it sound like Sonny and Cher. I mean, I kind of. Yeah. We are the Sonny and Cher of Pandora. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to go back to 2009 and go back to that very oh dear. first time. And this is what you told us, Sam, if this Avatar thing didn't work out. Nowadays, we have the luxury of going back to Dancing with the Stars. I can always go and, uh, you know, oil up my hips and, uh, <laughs> and try a bit of a two-step. I still keep my salsa skills up, just in case. <laughs>